Hello Sagittarius, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. All right, Sag, we are working with the next World Tarot this week, pulling out for our career, our love life, and our personal. Keep in mind, this may not resonate for every Sagittarius placement, so feel free to check out your other placements or your other Sagittarius videos on the Sag playlist. However, keep in mind these are all general readings, so you may want to book a personal if you'd like it to be more tailored to your life specifically. Okay, let's get into career here, Sag. We have the Page of Cups. So this is the home of expression and it is coming up in our career. We're clarifying it with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, so I definitely do feel here, Sag, that we do have a lot to, to offer. However, what we're, what we're wanting to do here in our career, whatever that may be, I feel like it is, you know, there is collaboration that needs to happen for us, but we're feeling a bit apprehensive to collaborate with other people. Okay, with the nine, we're definitely reevaluating. And, you know, we may be affected by past experiences here. We're a little bit beat up. So, collaborating with others is really hard from this space that we're currently in. Um, however, you know, really, when you reevaluate, make sure that you take notice to how strong you are, that you've overcome everything you've been through and you've learned from it. You're not the same person that went through those things. You're an evolved person. You learn from each of those experiences, which now is going to make you better when you go into those situations again. You're not going to fall for the same things or, you know, however that might have played out. The it's not going to be the same. You've overcome so much. So take a moment here, Sag, to celebrate yourself and just be really open. Be really open to love and to the possibilities around you because I do feel like there is magic around you, Sagittarius. And, you know, it's just that what we've been through has left us wounded. There's no shame in that, but... We don't want to stay in that situation. We don't want to be apprehensive or fearful of the outcomes whenever there is so much magic and so much really beautiful possibilities around us. Okay, so let's get into love life. The three of pentacles. Okay, the team. Okay, so I do feel like Sagittarius, we're really being supported right now. There is movement in our life here with the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Three of Pentacles, I do feel like within our love life, we really have a good support system. I feel like we have a, a really great partner who is able to communicate really well with us. And if we don't have that, what we have is a, a team of people. We have people around us that really want the best for us and they're really going to be able to give us sound advice. They're really going to be able to help us accomplish the highest for ourselves. okay? I do feel like the Eight of Cups is coming out, so there is a need here for movement and, you know, evolution, right? And the, the Wheel of Fortune is also, you know, reiterating that message. I feel like this is a big moment for you, Sag, in your love life to really... If you're not around this type of people, get around this type of people, right? The type of people that support you, that really are, are vested in your best interest, okay? And we may be walking away from a relationship or a situation here with the Eight of Cups. You know, this is just what, what has to be done. This is what we have to do and we're doing it. We're gonna walk away here we're moving on to to something better for us. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like in this case, it is a very 
positive um, life change that is happening within our relationship, our love life. Okay, getting into personal, we have the Two of Wands, Dominion, Mars in Aries. Okay, so this is a complicated energy, but it's beautiful. Look at, oh, look at these clarifiers. Okay, and the King of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Sagittarius, what I know about you is that you've been able to maneuver through your emotions, through everything in your life and continue to move forward regardless of what was going on but now we're kind of stuck okay and there's a little bit of tension with the two of wands because we do have things that we need to heal within ourself and we also have other responsibilities that have to be taken care of and look at how beautifully you're balancing them you really truly are healing Sag with the star and with the Empress, you're able to create and keep a lovely home for yourself because you love yourself and you wanna have a nice space for you, okay? With this Empress, you're really able to give and receive love, okay? While at the same time, still healing, okay? So this is a really beautiful energy and I do feel like your life right now, it might, be a little complicated on the emotional side of things however you're capable of dealing with this or someone around you is really capable of holding a lot of space for you Sag so um, definitely you know we also have the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck here from the next world so definitely take that time okay nine on the bottom and this nine here Take the time to really investigate the feelings that are coming up and to talk about it with somebody who really can hold space for you, okay? Rely on your people, rely on your community, speak what it is that you need when it becomes clear to you. Um, but it's really, really beautiful, really beautiful energy. I do feel like, Sag, you're doing a lot of work and it is paying off, okay? There is movement happening forward motion and it's a beautiful thing okay let's go ahead and get us a, an oracle oh we have change of course beautiful change let's read dancing clouds the sacred landscape wants you to know it's okay to change your mind it's all right to change directions you do not need to be consistent this is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside and listen to the beat of your own drum. You don't need to follow tradition. Create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Be daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way. You can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. Whew, all right, Sagittarius, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and share with a friend. These things mean the world to me. I, I appreciate you so much. Honestly, I do. Um, most importantly, Sag, I hope that you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.